So you've been researching a ton about HubSpot and you're ready to take the step. Firstly, congrats. You're about to step into the realm of automation and increasing efficiency within your business. We wanted to give you a bit of an idea on what to expect when moving your CRM to HubSpot and what our internal onboarding process looks like when we bring clients across. Howdy, this is Trav from Neighborhood, where we help brands find, sell, and keep their people. In my experience, shifting to a new business software option normally falls between the scale of frustrating and extremely bloody frustrating. Between working out the little differences to having to migrate data to training staff, the whole process can sometimes be daunting to turn you off making the move altogether. Even when the software itself is intuitive and simple, learning all the ins and outs can be time consuming and a drain. As such, when we're tasked with onboarding new HubSpotters onto the platform, we have no interest in making a laborious process. That's no fun for us or for them. Instead, we choose to build out a process that teaches beginners everything that they need to know, whilst also letting us build out the foundations of a successful portal at the same time. The neighborhood approach to learning. HubSpot is a complex beast to learn all the ins and outs for everyone. Even after using it literally for every day for the last few years, there are often moments where something totally new or unexpected will surprise me. The prospect of teaching that to a beginner in a reasonable amount of time is intimidating. Even HubSpot's own training, the Academy, requires many, many, many hours of video to try and get you to skill up. At Neighborhood, we prefer to focus on the essentials and build out a super strong framework around the core, relevant functionality that you require tied to real world examples and the requirements of your business. To do this, we step through that content in a week by week workshop, each one focused on a related set of tools or topics. Combine this weekly data dump of some activities, training, and a small amount of homework, we can then turn beginners into HubSpotters in no time whatsoever. So, what does the process look like? The Neighborhood HubSpot onboarding process is a 10-week series of workshops with each specific stage serving an opportunity to learn a specific section of the HubSpot environment. And those 10 weeks look like this. Week one, the kickoff meeting. Week two, the essentials. Week three, contacts. Week four, marketing hub. Week five, marketing automation. Week six, sales hub. Week seven, service hub. Week eight, reporting. Week nine, recap. And week 10, your call. So let's get into a little bit more about the detail. The kickoff meeting. The kickoff meeting is a consistent first step across all neighborhood projects. This is an opportunity for us to get extremely crystal clear on what you want from the project. The goals, your challenges, past experiences, and much more. In the context of an onboarding project, it also allows us what specific elements you need to learn and why so that we can better tailor that learning experience for you. While the entirety of this process can be conducted in person or online, we always try to hold at least the kickoff meeting in person. People learn better from someone that they know and trust. The essentials. This is where we'll go basically through the housekeeping and general knowledge. Think things like setting up users, ensuring the tracking code is installed, setting up permissions, understanding where the settings are, etc. It's the not so fun nitty gritty, but as the title implies, it's essential. Contacts. Now we're getting into the interesting stuff. Week three is all about learning about the contact, the lifeblood of the CRM. We'll discuss the contact profile, the properties, custom and otherwise, forms, lists, and much more. Expect to walk out of this workshop very concerned about how much data companies out there might have on you. Marketing Hub. Next is a deep dive into Marketing Hub. There is no secret that a majority of our HubSpot clients wanna make use of HubSpot's extensive and powerful marketing tools to better grow their businesses. And here is where you'll learn how. We'll discuss emails, blogs, landing pages, campaign tracking ads, and much more. Marketing automation. We've spoken at length about the importance of marketing automation in the efficient and effective running of a successful business. Once you know how much time automations can save you, doing literally anything manually feels like a giant waste of time. Not to worry though, because in week five, is nothing but learning on how to automate in HubSpot, specifically covering workflows. Sales Hub. What about your sales staff though? They get some time in the sun too? Not to worry. Our week on Sales Hub covers everything from sales pipelines, sales automation, and deal records and tasks. Your sales staff will learn about all the tools at their disposal and the many ways their lives are about to get a whole lot easier. Service Hub. One of HubSpot's newer features, there is still plenty to discuss when it comes to how you can best provide long-term service to your customers. Whether you currently have a support ticketing system and are interested to hear the alternatives, or all you care about is chatbots, there'll be an opportunity to go through what you can do to turn your customers into promoters. Reporting. Knowing how to use all the tools are important, but so is proving how they work. This week, we'll tackle all the options when it comes to reporting in HubSpot from setting up personal reports to dashboards to reviewing site-wide traffic analytics. This workshop is gonna teach you everything you need to know 
to impress your boss when the time comes. Full recap, we've officially covered all the important stuff. This week is a recap to make sure that what we've covered in week one hasn't faded or been forgotten in the last eight weeks. After that, you've got all the tools you need. So why do we think our process is the best one? Believe me when I say that this process has gone through many, many versions before it's reached its final polished version that you see today. That being said, we think it's reached the very best version itself for a couple of reasons. Number one, removable sections. Not all HubSpot users need to know about all of HubSpot, and we know this. Our step-by-step -step approach means that irrelevant lessons can be removed as needed. Number two, we learn your system as you learn ours. Teaching you how to best use HubSpot inevitably means that we learn your system and then what you're looking for. When the time comes to start properly using it, we'll already have all the foundational knowledge that we need. And number three, it turns your stuff into beacons of HubSpot knowledge. Not to talk ourselves out of a job here, but one of our favorite things is watching our clients run with what they've learned in HubSpot and start solving their own problems. We want our HubSpot students to become teachers in their own right. And this onboarding program helps them to get there. And that's about it. If you're looking to learn the ins and outs of HubSpot and the idea of strapping into 100 hours of lectures like we did seems a little daunting, then perhaps let us help you out. We'll turn you into masters in no time. If you found this video helpful, then feel free to share it with somebody you think that needs a hand with setting up their HubSpot account. You can also subscribe to our blog where you'll find a bunch of tools, tips, and templates to help you find, sell, and keep your people just like Neighborhood does. And that's it from me. Happy marketing.